In this video, I'll be sharing with you seven proven strategies that helped me get two sponsored roles in the UK in just one month. And of course, I'll be sharing with you a free PDF document of the top 40 sponsoring companies in 2023. So let's get into the video. So as promised, I'll be sharing with you the seven proven strategies that has worked for myself and some of my friends to secure tier two jobs here in the UK. But of course, I'd like to let you know that I applied to over 80 companies and I was rejected in all of these 80 companies. And guess what? It was very frustrating. So I took a step back and I know the question you're asking, how was I able to figure it out? Well, that leads to my first strategy, which is for you to identify your top skill. And in this particular strategy, I've actually limited it to just five because I don't want to overwhelm you. So why do you need to do this one? It's very much important that you identify your top skill because that way you can understand what you even enjoy doing. What is it that you like doing? What is it that you think you're good at? Because that way you seem more intentional and that way you can then identify the next direction you'll be taking. How do you go about this? You can ask your friends, you can ask your supervisor, you can ask your manager, you can ask anybody you think you trust or you yourself can look into some of the things you've done in the last one, two years and of course, you can highlight your top five skills. So that leads me to the next strategy, which is for you to match these skills to two specific roles. Now you're asking what specific roles. Now, as an international student, my top advice will be for you to know the most popular roles that have been sponsored here in the UK because applying to just any role is a problem. Aside from that, it will give you a clear direction of what you are interested in. So you don't have to apply to every job you see. Trust me, if you just apply to every job you see, you would be frustrated and of course you get rejected but if you're intentional for example you already know the skills you're wanting and you already know the skills that attract you but if you want to know the top sponsoring jobs here in the uk i've actually included that in the free pdf document now that you know the two roles for example probably you think you're very much skilled in tech or you think that you have a thing for consulting then you just match the skills and say okay i'm going for consulting and i'm going for tech so now that you actually know the two roles you're interested in, that leads to the next strategy. So you adapt your CV to these two roles. Listen, you cannot make the same popular mistake that everyone keeps making. They apply to every job opportunity they see using only one CV. Listen, that's automatic rejection. What you want to do is for you to make sure you've adapted your CV to each role you're applying to. For example, if you're applying to tech or you're applying to audit, you should have already identified the best CV you'll be using for each of these specific roles. And if you want to know more about how your CV should look like, I already have a free CV format just for you, so you don't have to stress yourself. Once you adapt your CV to these specific roles, you are making the best progress you can actually make. I actually use this one. It helped me, for example, in my Bloomberg application, I tailor my CV specifically to analytics and sales. And of course, that's the best thing you want to do. That leads us to the next strategy, which is for you to identify the 20 companies you'll be applying to. So why do you have to apply to 20 companies or why do you even have to note down the companies you'll be applying to? The reason for this is because you need to be intentional in your application. If you know the companies you'll be applying to, that way you can strategically research about the companies, understand the application process, understand if the interview process or if the online test fit your own strength. What you want to do here is to ensure that your weaknesses is eliminated completely. You want to make sure your strength is what sets you apart in your application process. Now you can even go as far as going on to Microsoft Word or Excel and writing out these companies that you would actually be applying to. So you want to put the rows down. You want to look at when the application is open and of course when it closes and which companies you'll be starting your application with. I know what you're thinking. Oh, so what are the companies I'll be sponsoring or what are these companies I should go for? Well, to be honest, only you can identify how this list looks like. But my own job is to provide you the companies that can sponsor your tier two visa. I promised you that I'll be giving you more info about that later on in the video. And that leads me to the next strategy, which is for you to prioritize your top five components out of these 20 components you'll be applying to. And of course, you want to make sure you're building relationship and networking with people from these companies on LinkedIn. Why do you have to have top five companies? I believe that you should have more companies that you have a sort of passion or interest in because these companies are not the companies you just want to put in your application just anyhow. You want to make sure you speak to people working at the companies. You can do this by contacting people on LinkedIn. Just send a message to people. There are a lot of people that are willing to share information about the companies. You see it more like a girlfriend. You want to give it your attention and your time. What you want to do when you're speaking with these people on LinkedIn is for you to ask them what the culture of the company is looking like, what project they're working on. Just basic inside information on what are the team building exercises. All of these things will help in your interview process. All of these things will also help in your application process. The next strategy is the major reason why people always fail in their job application, especially for graduate programs, which is because you fail to practice mock interview and of course, online assessment. Why do you need to do this? It's very much important. I've seen instances where people contact me and say, oh, Kolade, I have my interview tomorrow. Let's quickly do a prep. 
oh, I think that's a big problem. In my own case, I was already interviewing about seven months in the summer, even before I started applying to jobs. And look, it looks like I was weird, speaking to myself on camera, practicing the most popular questions. I already have my answers in place on my Microsoft Word. I was just doing my thing. And when it was time, I was killing it. I can't, I can't lie to you, I was just acing it. And that was it for me. So my top advice is for you to practice mock interview. You can practice with your friends, practice with yourself. You don't have to do nothing. And of course, if you want to take it more personal, you can book a one-to-one -one session with me and I'm happy to help you with this one. I'll link it in the description box below. That being said, online assessment is also something you need to practice very well. This is one reason why many people always get rejected. In fact, I can confirm to you that 60% of the application is usually being rejected at this stage because people always fail online tests. Online tests usually comprise of things like situational judgment test, numerical reasoning test, verbal reasoning test, etc. Some companies time you, some companies don't time you. In my own case, I was able to identify that I don't like time test. So what I did was I researched on companies that won't time in the application. And that's how I was able to compose my own list of 20 to 30 companies at least. My top advice is for you to identify what your strength is with respect to online testing. Practice, practice, practice. There are a lot of free resources. The most popular test provider here in the UK is Capfinity. Uh, Amberjack, you can also check them out. If you can practice online tests, I mean, you can even go as far as paying. There are paid versions where you practice. And if you don't want to pay, there are free resources too. Or you can find your friends that go in America. I believe that they can help you out. They can coach you and you can do your thing. And I believe you hate this part. And that leads me to the next strategy. This strategy, I believe, is the main reason why I was able to get job offers as far as I can. And listen, I'll advise you to join community of like-minded people. Why it's important to join this community? It's very important to join all these communities because you can get raw information. If Maggie someone applied to, for example, maybe KPMG yesterday, the person can give you tips on what happened, how to prepare. The person can even do like a mock interview for you. And this is how you get raw information. You can even get the latest job opportunities on these groups. And that's why I believe it's very much important. Also, why is it very important to join a community of like-minded people is because they usually even do mock interviews. They can review your CVs. People can give you feedback. You can get information about even the online test. For example, I mean, the video interview, you can get information. Maybe someone also just did it. Very much important. So how can you join this kind of community as well? That's where I come in. I have a community I'm building. And of course, we provide information that can help you in your job application. If this is like something you're interested in, drop a love emoji in the comment section and of course you can reach out to me on IG. So aside from this, you can also join other communities like SEO London. They massively helped me in my interview prep. They reviewed my CV and I will advise you also join SEO London. You can also join Bright Network. They give information and I believe these are the few I'll be recommending to you. So now that you know the seven promise strategies that got me two sponsored jobs here in the UK, I can guarantee you one thing. If you apply each of this approach step by step, you would get the job you are looking for. But if you don't, if you skip one, that's a problem. So as promised, I've linked the free PDF document in the description box below and also in the comment section. This document contains the top 40 sponsoring companies here in the UK in 2023. And also, I've also put in the top sponsoring roles in the UK. If you miss any of this information, there's a chance that it will affect your application. Guess what? Like I said, it's free and you don't have to pay nada. One more thing, if you'd like to ace your assessment center or any interview you have coming up, watch this video where I actually share information and top tip on how to ace any assessment center. See you in the video.